Welcome to Space Age Jim's Guitar Channel. Today we're going to talk about the C chord. And it's not hard to play, but some people have problems with it at first. There's a lot of C chords on this and I'm playing. So you can see how important it is. Okay, so the main thing that you're working on as a beginner is fine motor skills. That means control of your left hand and your right hand. Your right hand is just as important as your left hand, if not even more so. And there's a third component to being a musicianship, and that's keeping time. Very important. Don't, don't uh, just learn mechanical things without learning to be musical. So always work with a metronome or a drum or anything that you can. Okay, the C chord is, is gonna be played pretty much this way. Uh, you've noticed, we're gonna do a close up in a second, but you'll notice a bend here, a bend there, a bend there, 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 and there. I call that the bear claw. And you have to have a bear claw on a lot of chords. Uh, that's because your fingers need to go straight down. If your fingers at an angle like this, over on an angle, then you're reducing all the clearance that you have available. All your clearances will be gone. So you need to go almost straight down whenever possible. Uh, it's best to go straight down. That way you're not going to touch another string and have it, it's gonna rattle, or it's not gonna be have, a, have a good tone to it. So we're gonna look at that very closely in just a minute, but just remember whenever you're strumming also, concentrate on hitting five strings. We're gonna take a little bit closer look, and if you'll notice, the nut of the guitar is right here, and the nut is right illustrated right here. So this is the first string, is the smallest, the sixth string is the largest, and uh, just to let you know, I think you probably already know this, but your first finger is your index, second, third, and fourth is your small one, either your right or left hand. Okay, so here we've got the six strings. Uh, you'll notice the zero, which means open, and the X, which means don't touch it. Uh, this is a five string chord. That means we're gonna strum the fifth down to the first string. Try to hit those. Uh, and we'll show you a fail safe way in case you accidentally do hit it. Uh, or a way to mute the sixth string. But the third finger goes right here. The second finger goes on the fifth string, on uh, the fourth string, and the, and the second fret, and the first finger is the second string of the first fret. So in other words, we're talking about this, this, and this. Now, I'm gonna get you another close up in just a second, but if you'll notice, this might be a good angle to show you. See how my knuckles are bent here, 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 here? They're just bent straight where my fingers are going almost straight down. Now, if I'm over like this, look at this. I'm, now I'm killing, I'm killing my uh, fourth string. Now see what happens when I move it over? So let's look at it again. See how it cleared up whenever I was going straight down. So if you don't you know, have a bear claw shape, as I call it, I hope you take the time to subscribe today. Uh, all you have to do is right down there, uh, click subscribe. And if you like the video, like it. And if you make a comment, I'll get back with you. If you have a technical question about playing, you have a problem or something, uh, I'll try to get back with you as quickly as possible. So please subscribe. Call it, then you're going to have a, you'll never get it right. I mean, you'll always have a muddy tone. And we don't want to, you know, the guitar is a beautiful sound. We want a clear, crystal clean tone. And that tone comes from having very good control of your uh, uh, micro motor skills. Uh, so 
The only way you're going to get good at it is by practicing, practicing, practicing. And the good way to practice is go from your C to your F or to your G or whatever chords you know, get a metronome going and strum to that metronome. It's, being musical, your right hand, your left hand is, is important, your right hand is important, and equally important as these two hands are is keeping time. That's what makes you musical and keeps you in, in keeps the song flowing and, and sounding great is keeping on time. I use a kick drum a lot, and I'll get a, a little review coming up on that, but I like to use Space Age Jim uses a metronome all the time to get my timing down. Okay, so that's always important. But you have the bear claw shape going almost straight down. Now, I'm gonna touch the sixth string with the meat of my fingers. You see that? I'm gonna touch it. Because now if I strum it, it's hard to play the guitar like this. So if I strum it, and I hit that six string, you don't even hear it. I'm gonna hit all six strings. You don't even hardly hear it. Now you can, but whenever the other strings are ringing out, you're not gonna hear that muted string. All right, let's take a much closer look. Finger here, second finger, fourth string, and fifth one there. Now, the key to doing all of this is to make sure that you've got a clean tone. And the best way to do that and everything is to break it down, break it down, break it down to as small a little units as you can. So let's hear that first string. Is that clear or is it, uh-oh, uh-oh. Need to push a little harder. So now we've got one string that's clear and crystal clear and clean. Now let's go to the next note, the fourth string. Uh-oh, it's it's got a problem too. I need to push a little harder. Ah, there it goes. Now let's hit the two notes. Now what happens? Uh-oh. That's because my finger, I lost my, I'm not going almost straight down anymore. I'm, I'm bent my hand over. So I need to get my hand, my knuckles, or even or above the fretboard. If your knuckles are behind the fretboard, you got a problem. You are never going to be a clean player. Whenever you got, if you're if you're playing like this, you, that's not the way the guitar works, my friend. We've got to go down, down, down. Now, if you look at my fingers here, I have little grooves. I play a lot, but um, they have grooves. My hands are tools. My fingers are tools. This, my fingers are always like this. Now, my hand, my these strings fall right into that groove. So I've got an unfair advantage on you because automatically my hand sinks, my strings are gonna be pushed into those little grooves in my hand and I can't, almost can't miss, you know? So let's get a clean tone. And now I've got muted on my sixth string. So I just played all six strings. You didn't hear that, did you? That's what it sounds like. You, that's it had the same tone, but the other strings are so clear and louder that the muted string is barely heard. So that's why you can use the flesh of your finger, push it up. And the harder you push against it, the better it is. So you're gonna trap your fifth string uh, on, now, the best thing to do is just to hit the five strings. <laughs> okay, as you can see, I've got my thumb right behind the fretboard. Now, is that important? Not really. You can have your thumb all the way over too. See how, how I, I'm hanging it over here? Oops. Hanging over here, or I can also play it like this. Or we're gonna hang my thumb over. And I usually hang my thumb over because that gives me, I can always, I can always hit fret notes with that. And I do that a lot. And so, so will you someday. So, um, and stick with Space Age Gym because, you know, I'm not gonna teach you to play like everybody else does. If you wanna sound a bit different, I'm a finger style specialist. So, you know, I've even competed in competitions on finger style. So, you know, I have a big devotion there and finger style doesn't sound like everything else. It sounds so cool. People can't, you know, they're just shocked whenever they hear finger style for some reason. And uh, I want you to be a unique player. So 
Work hard at it. It's, it's worthwhile, and I know you can do it.